right guys and girls thank you for tuning into this IGTV video we're going to be looking at two top tips for you to nail the crossover move as you've just seen demonstrated now we all know the crossover can be a pain in the ass to learn okay if you mess up you're invariably going to slap yourself across the chest or across the back or the head or the neck or god knows where else with that rope and no one wants that it's not fun so we're going to look at two important aspects of the crossover that will help you nailing them getting crispy clean crossovers in no time the first is don't be lazy <laughs> now i didn't make this video to just have a go at you guys um, let me explain when i say don't be lazy what i mean is you want to do as much as you can to give yourself a large gap to jump through okay so get your hands right across don't stop halfway I either because you're lazy or because you're thinking about the next crossover and you want to get your hands there in time get those arms across I'll show you what I mean you want to do this across okay across 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 you do not want to do this okay oh no I messed up my crossover let me try again I got one but the second one is gone okay you don't want to do that. If you stop halfway through the cross, this gap is not enough for you to jump through. You want to get your arms right across, give yourself a nice big gap to get through. Also, the second thing is that if you do not get your hands fully across, that rope, you might have seen it as I just demonstrated, but that rope is going to be all laggy and floppy. You want it nice and tight, okay? So get that across. That's the first thing. The second top tip I'd say is slow your rope. This is just a basic two pound or just a super cheap basic PVC rope. The reason why I'd recommend this, and you guys know me already, you know I love speed. You know I love a fast rope. In fact, I'll show you the rope. This is the rope I normally use. The RX Smart Gear, okay? Super slick rope, super fast. I'm not gonna start bashing speed ropes all of a sudden. I do most of my training with speed ropes. But the problem is, when you're learning, you need to get a good feedback and a good understanding of how a rope works. Also, you don't want those swivels. Those swivels that make it nice and speedy on a speed rope will interfere, especially with crossover patterns. When you're crossing that rope, that swivel's gonna interfere and you'll find that the rope is getting caught more, more often than you need to which leads to frustration, which leads to, ouch, I slapped myself on the back again. I don't wanna do this, therefore I'm not gonna learn the crossover. Start with a normal run of the mill rope. Slow your rope down, if you can. Those are my two top tips. Don't be lazy and slow your rope. I hope those are helpful. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of it. All the best with your training and stay raging.